we've just dug the rest of our potatoes and we've put them into hessian sacks so they store really well in a cool dry place i separated some of them because when you dig them if they've got marks on them or you put the fork through them they're not going to keep so i put them in a bucket so i use those first i've also dug a few beetroots today and a few radishes so all that's cleared and we'll be covering that soon if we move down we've got some leeks these are some later leeks so they're not ready to dig yet we've got some bright lights chard which i can i can harvest now i've got some spring onions i've got some radishes and i've also got some more beetroot going through here i've got a handful of parsnips very disappointing this year but there's a few there my father-in-law's are doing much better so i'm hoping he's going to share with me i move down i've still got my cow under cover but this is still the threat the threat of white fly and also cabbage butterfly because i don't want them to eat my cow i've got some purple sprouting under here um, i need to rejig this because it's all started to grow into the net but it's all getting a bit squashed together so one of my jobs is going to be to uncover it and have a looser covering on it as we move down we've got some leeks which i could start digging these now if i wanted to but i'm going to give them another month because with all the rain we're getting they're going to swell out and they'll obviously go a lot further and i've got other things that i can be eating at the moment these are my dahlia which i'm very pleased with so they're going to brighten up my home when i get back and i shall share them with some of my friends as well as we move over the runner beans and french beans i'm going to be pulling these up in the next week or two i still managed to get a few off of it today um but they really really are starting to finish so i might as well just clear the ground and then i'll cover it so i don't get lots of weeds in the spring as we move over the corn is another thing one tree finished so one of my jobs this week is going to be to clear the corn and then cover this so that it's um, covered for the winter to stop weeds growing. And as we move on, I've picked all of my squashes, the last of my courgettes and my pumpkins, which are in the wheelbarrow there. And I'll be taking those home. And again, I'll be clearing all this, lifting up the old membrane, which has got holes in it where I've been growing my squashes. It's a really good top tip actually, when you grow a lot of squashes and pumpkins, get a lot of weeds around them if you put like a, um, a membrane down like i've got it means that you don't get lots of weeds around them and you just cut little holes in them and then you plant your squashes and your pumpkins in between so as we move up we've got some beetroot which i've got these are my strawberries they're very untidy now so i need to give those a bit tidy up and i've got some carrots in there i did pull a few the other day but they're nearly finished as well obviously all my berries they've all been picked and i've a Jammed, frozen, or put in gin. As we move around, we've got the trees, the blackberries, the apple trees, the pear trees, the cherry trees. Again, they've all finished for this year, so we'll just be tidying this up over the next few weeks so it's ready for the spring. And if we move up the rhubarb again, it's looking very sorry for itself, but that's normal this time of year, so I won't be picking any more off that. I'll just be waiting until the spring when I get some more. So that's it for today. If you've got any questions or comments, then please let me know.